When people were talking about Egypt, they're, they're over time, for example, looking by month from 1979 to the, the day actually right before the riot, if you measure what everyone's saying about uh, Egypt over time, you actually see this graph that's moving up and down, reflecting when people are saying much very good things about Egypt versus very negative things about Egypt. And, and this is really at scale. You're not looking at just a, a handful of, of documents. You're not looking at, an, at a front page editorial in, in the New York Times about what's happening in Egypt. You're looking at everything that's being said about the globe. But then we see this, this huge, uh, just crashing, just sort of a downward trail and this dropping off a cliff right ahead actually in the, day, uh, in the weeks actually prior to uh, and leading up to the days faster and faster uh, until January 25th when they began riding. And so essentially what, what we're sort of doing is sort of crowdsourcing uh, the global consensus on Egypt. Uh, but you know, you look at, at some of these web archives that are in the, the multiple, multiple petabytes, and, and that's really where the exciting stuff happens because all of this work is all statistics, it's all math. And statistics, the more data you feed at it, the more confident you can be at those results. As, as these web archives grab more and more, we're starting to actually capture really the, the pulse of human society.